Solid Edge contains a process specific environment dedicated to creating wires, paths, cables, bundles, and a wire harness. So let's take a look at uh, this particular environment. Under the configurations, we're going to take uh, and go to the 07 wiring configuration which allows us to turn off information we don't need to view while looking at the wire harness and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the tools uh, and select the harness design command you'll notice it takes us into the harness environment where we do have the harness wizard and then of course if you want to manually create wires cables and bundles you can do so and we're going to take a look at all of this uh, information now what we have here is the iron eagle and some wires that go from the control box uh, to uh, some specific uh, components in uh, the uh, iron eagle and I've already started creating some wires and a cable but what I want to do is can, can go ahead and continue on with that so I'm going to show you how we can create a wire very easily and of course we're just going to create a wire path first and then apply a specific uh, properties to the path. So just by simply selecting uh, the cylinder it automatically will give us a kind of a from to um, point, point to point type path and then we'll go into the controller and then with a simple right mouse button click it will actually uh, specify and bring up the properties. Now these properties are stored in a text file so a user could actually fill in the information with the the gauge and uh, wire types that they uh, particularly use. Now for this I think we're just going to use the uh, 20 gauge solid uh, copper. In this case I'll just select blue for the color and then we can continue on. And what I want to do is I want to create these three wires and we're just going to go back again to the controller. We're just going to work back and forth. This time we'll go into this lower control box again it's going to bring up well what type of wire do you want to create and I'll just create uh, maybe a magenta you'll notice it does turn the wire that color so you kinda get an idea of what particular wire that you've created and again this is 20 gauge and then once that's created the last wire that we will create we'll just come back over and roll it up and go right in and you can see how easy it is to specifically tell uh, where you want to create this particular wire and then of course pick the color and then preview at any time you want to look at you know any of the properties uh, for that particular wire you can come over and specify properties for this particular wire it shows you description the diameter the gauge all of the pertinent information that you would expect to see within the properties for that particular wire now once we're done with that you'll notice that those three wires run from the switch over to these uh, control boxes and you'll notice on the other wire that we created they kind of go into a cable and that's kind of what we want to do now we've already created the three wires but I'd like to actually uh, develop the cable that goes in to those wires so let's go ahead and do that you notice we'll just come up and identify the cable command and the one requirement for cable is that you want to select the wires that will make up that cable so I'm simply going to pick those three wires that we just created and just with the right mouse button click we can accept them and then at that point we can start creating the cable path itself now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply select this circle that I have created here and then I'm going to go back to the circular cutout so it'll identify allow me to identify circular cutouts and what we want to do is kind of run through this grommet and then we want to run through the cylinder in this hold down clamp and then right mouse button click and you'll notice it creates the path for the actual cable itself. At that point we're going to come up and we can select whatever gauge uh, that we want to select here so maybe we do say something like 14.3 and we'll go ahead and preview that and you'll notice that it will take those wires and it will re reroute them through the cable path and then when the cable uh, finishes it'll um, it'll go back to the three wires so again very easy to manipulate and change and create the cable uh, that you're looking for now another thing that I'd like to do is you'll notice that the endpoints are controlled with what we refer to as blue dots so if I for example pick that blue dot and then I click on the edit button it's going to allow me to grab that blue dot and adjust it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock in you'll notice it gives us this 
triad and I can lock into a plane or an axis. In this case I'm going to pick the Y axis and just simply pull this cable out and you'll notice how the wires will automatically adjust to that. Now once we're done one of the things that I think is kind of neat is I like to come down to the harness itself and I like to use the option to create the physical conductors and what that does is that actually creates the uh, the physical uh, conductors to show you what those wires actually look like and in fact what we also can do is we can hide uh, the wires and you notice it turns off uh, the actual sketches or the paths for those wires another kind of uh, neat thing that we can do is if I want to for example we'll go to face select mode and if I come in here and grab for example the um, the cylinder for that sheet metal uh, cylinder I can grab uh, the uh, the plane and notice I can move the location if I want to adjust the location and watch how the wires will once I already once I uh, click to place it notice how the wires automatically update to the change so again everything's associative you can change the properties and you can easily go in and change the wire paths and just by simply creating wires cables or bundles that will bundle cables and wires together uh, again it's a very simple process another area that I think is uh, unique to solid edge is the ability to read in from an ECAD system now again this is a process specific environment for wire harness and one of the things about reading something in from an ECAD system is it's looking for component names and terminal names that way it knows what part to go to or what component to go to and what component to go from as well as the terminals and in order to set that up I'm going to um, go back to part select mode and I'm going to select this particular component because I wanted to show you uh, when you go into a component in Solid Edge you also can create a uh, set up a component name for the wire harness under the tools you notice we have assigned terminals and when I click on that you'll notice that it brings up an assigned terminals dialog box this allows me to assign this a component name that an ECAD system would understand and also the terminal names in this case I just number, numbered the terminals 1 through 8 so if I want a wire to come from the relay component uh, maybe from terminal 3 this is, this is how we actually assign those names to this particular part. So what I'm going to do is close and return back to the assembly and then we can go back into the harness design and take a look at this wire harness uh, wizard. So what we'll do is just kick off the wizard and here you can see the different ECAD systems that we read information in. I'm going to use a solid edge sample uh, for this sample that I've created and we'll use the engine component for our components file and we'll also use the engine connection for our connection file. It's a three-step process wizard. That's step one, just to point to the component and connection file. The next step is actually it calls out the component names that it's looking for in the file. Now you'll notice that the components have already been named and when I read in this information it was looking for specific component names. It found those names and so it tells you it's populated. The neat thing about this wizard is you can, uh, you can also um, assign components uh, and occurrences on the fly. Right while you're in this, in, this uh, uh, wizard, I could come out to Salad Edge and pick a component and give it a name. And that way we could populate it on the fly if we wanted to. There's the uh, relay that we opened up and we looked at and it found it automatically. Then we can go to the final step, which is basically the wire step. You know, what, what are you going to call the wire? Uh, it's going to go from what component uh, to to which component and then of course the terminals and then of course you want to pick what type of wire that you're actually creating so in this case you know you just pick pick a, a particular wire or a cable attribute and then you go with it if you want to preview any of these you can do so and also we have some different um, uh, properties that you can set like how many number of points do you want to put on a wire so, uh, those are the blue dots where you can adjust the wire maybe you want to increase the sheathing strip back length we'll change this to maybe 15 percent and then when we're done with that we can simply click on the finish button and it automatically creates the wires from all of those uh, different components and those are I believe there's uh, 
six different components that it goes to. Now you'll notice that when it creates this particular uh, cable uh, from the harness wizard it also gave us the blue dots. And if I open up these wires you'll notice that um, it shows us which wires go where and it highlights them as I go across those wires. And if I want to make any changes to this how do we do it? Well, there's the blue dot. So if I right mouse button click and go to that blue dot and simply edit it, you'll notice I can grab it and maybe I want to adjust it down. And notice how the wires will automatically adjust as I select them. And if we zoom up a little bit on this area, you'll notice also that I can uh, also select the wires themselves. So if I come down and pick the wire path, and then click on the edit button. You'll notice it shows the one, we only use one point per pass, so there's the point and I can simply grab it. And then I can just come up while I'm in the edit mode, you can uh, grab the wires one after the other. And if you wanna adjust just the way they look, maybe you don't like the way they, you know, the way they come out of the, out of the, uh, uh, the terminal, you can, you can adjust them. And so what, that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just making a slight adjustment so they look a little bit better. Now, you can do that on both ends very easily. Um, after we're done with that, again, I always like to come back to the harness uh, uh, to create the physical conductors to actually see what these cables and wires uh, look like. Again, I'm going to right mouse button click, and I'm going to hide all uh, wires which is the actual path itself, kind of gives us a better depiction of what those wires actually uh, look like. So once the paths are created, uh, easy to inspect them, again, easy to edit their information, uh, easy to change the properties that make up. Maybe you want to change the gauge length or something of that nature. I think another thing that's uh, key to a harness environment or a uh, wiring environment is the ability to create reports. And we have what we call harness report. And you can report on the components. And so if I open up those components, it shows us the component names. And we can actually create a report on this type of information. Um, also, if you want to create a report on the connections, and you can come in here and you can see how those how each wire is created the connections and you can actually get the cut length for the wires which is important information that you might want to uh, pass to the drafting environment so with all of these tools that are available we think that solid edge st4 offers a very unique and powerful um, uh, package for or environment for creating your wire your wiring needs whether it's through the harness wizard reading in from an ECAD system or just manually uh, creating the wires once we're done we can close the harness environment and go back out to the top level and we thank you for your time